So today, I'm going to share with you a little bit of a story time, or at least I think that's what the TikTokers are calling it these days. This story is about an unconventional way to solve an issue that I brought up in a previous video. And I'm sure you've already guessed that the 3D printer helped solve it. Hello, slotheads, young and old, near and far, experienced and beginner. One of my best performing videos thus far was the avoid my mistakes list. This is one of the only videos that really took off from day one and still gets great views every day. And I am super proud of that one. But I have a bit of an update to one item on that list. Buying borders is one of the mistakes that frustrated me the most when I first started out. Spending money on these things was just something I did not want to do. In my mind, that money should be spent on cars and lane changers, and quite frankly, a list as long as my arm of accessories that would dramatically improve the racing experience. Borders were a necessary evil that I knew I needed, and I regretted not buying them as I went along. However, I did not heed my own advice, and I continued to buy track without borders to go with them. At the same time, I was wanting to purchase a new 3D printer, and I may or may not have justified some of that purchase price by convincing myself that I would save money by printing those borders rather than purchasing them. To be honest, I knew I was kidding myself thinking there would be any kind of cost benefit to spending more money on a printer. However, I also knew that if I spent the money, I could buy once and cry once. I found some sweet borders on Thingiverse. They're just a little bit narrower than the original. They look great, they're super simple to print, and they install in the same fashion that the original Carrera ones do. The only real tip I have for printing this one is to make sure that you align it upside down. In order to get a surface on your borders that matches the Carrera track extremely closely, use a textured PEI build plate. To be honest, I had never used a PEI build plate before, but it has worked wonders on all of my prints, not just this one. If you use a glass build plate and you have trouble with first layer adhesion, make the upgrade to a PEI build plate and never look back. Well, with the borders and the crash barriers now covered, we can start to get into the really cool stuff that adds life to the track. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell thingy so that YouTube lets you know when those videos drop. Also, I had a chance to troubleshoot some printer issues with a subscriber this week, and I had a blast tweaking and adjusting the print settings with him. So thanks for reaching out, Phil, and I hope your family race event this weekend goes fantastic. If you are having trouble with any of the files that I'm sharing in some of these videos, put a comment down below. If we can't solve it in a few messages back and forth, we can always email and keep on tweaking. Just keep in mind that I'm not a 3D printing expert by any stretch of the imagination. But one of my other favorite hobbies outside of slot cars is tinkering. And I love to talk and work through problems with other people. That's it for this story time. Thanks for hanging out with me this week, and I'll see you next time.